Oh, yeah. I wish I had showed how to make this as I was going, but I didn't think of it until it was done, and it's so good. So, this is a seafood, creamy seafood soup. It has um, shrimp. I just bought the frozen, peeled, and deveined, cooked, peeled, and deveined shrimp. And the um, one package, that was a pretty good bag full. I'll have to see how much. And then one package of the um, crab meat, imitation crab meat, cut up in there. And then onions. I had a red onion and some green onions, which were actually dehydrated green onions from my friend Kathy at Living Miracle Homestead. She sent me those green onions uh, freeze-dried, freeze-dried, not dehydrated. And uh, let's see, what else? I put a few mushrooms in there. I didn't put a lot of mushrooms, but I had some uh, chicken of the woods dehydrated and some um, of those woodier mushrooms dehydrated. I put just a little bit of each in there. So um, what else? I put um, bone broth. I used a little bit of bone broth. Lots of garlic and onions. Uh, like I said, the red onion and then the green uh, freeze-dried onions. Um, lots of garlic. Um, uh oh, that's not... That didn't melt good yet. Um, so a package of cream cheese. One package of cream cheese, which is not melted in there good yet. I'm going to have to get that melted. Um, I put a little bit of cayenne, not much, just a sprinkle of cayenne, salt, and pepper. And, uh, I think that's about it. Anyway, uh, then I put, uh, after I got the, uh, I sauteed all the ingredients except for, oh, celery. I also put celery in here. I sauteed all the ingredients down in some butter except for the, uh, uh, cream cheese. I put the cream cheese in after I turned it down some. That's why it's not melted real good yet. And then I took and poured in some um, um, heavy whipping cream and chicken broth. So um, I have already taste tested, even though all my all of my cream cheese is not melted. But I already taste tested, and it is so yummy. And so, I wished I had of done this step-by-step -step on video, but I didn't. So, I'm going to link, um, I'm going to put in the description below, I am going to put this recipe of everything I put in here, and about how much I put in here. I just grabbed handfuls of things, so I'm not real sure exactly how much of everything but you can kind of judge for yourself but it was one package of the um, peeled and deveined cooked peeled and deveined shrimp i got that at aldi's it wasn't very expensive i think it was like five bucks at aldi's and uh, it was a small bag um i'll have to look and see how many ounces i'll put that in the description uh, below of how many ounce bag that was of the shrimp and of the uh, crab meat. You know how the crab meat, imitation crab meat comes in a, just a little package and I cut it up. I got that at Aldi's and um, I had a, the red onion already, had the uh, green onions from Kathy and uh, like I said, garlic. Oh, the... Um, Mushrooms. I put the uh, wood ear mushrooms. I just put a little bit. There's one. I just put a little bit of the wood ear mushrooms and a little bit of the um, chicken of the woods. I had those dehydrated already from from probably a year ago. But this is delicious, y'all. I wish I'd have captured every moment <laughs> for you, but I didn't. So, I'm going to still tell you because it's so good, I could not resist uh, letting you know about it. 
Anyway, this is like a seafood, creamy seafood soup. You know, I love soup. Soup is my favorite thing uh, in the wintertime. As soon as it starts getting cool weather, I'm a soup girl. And uh, I will eat different kinds of soup all winter until it gets hot in the summer. Uh, probably about May. May through September, I don't eat a whole lot of soup. Maybe a little bit, but boy, after September, October comes, I am ready for some different kinds of soups, and I make all different kinds. Most of them I just make up on the fly, just like this. So there you go. Y'all try out this creamy seafood soup. And, uh, of course, you can add whatever you want in it or whatever you already have in it. And, uh, but I will put what I've done in the description below. So, there you go. This is delicious, y'all. You got to try it. Okay, this is ready to eat. I wanted to show you. Um, so, I let it simmer for about 15, 20 minutes to get everything kind of, um, marinated together like and um, let that uh, cream cheese melt good and I wanted to get it in a bowl so I could really show it look at that delicious there's there's one of those wood ear mushrooms there right well there and Anyway, delicious, y'all. This is so good. Mm. Now, uh, I won't eat bread with it, but man, a piece of garlic bread with that. And like I said, you could put anything in this you wanted. You could even use some pasta or rice as a filler. So, awesome. This is wonderful. Mm. Mm. That's so good. Gotta try it, y'all.